Welcome back and in uh, today's video, uh, this is a very important video. I was asked to, if I could raise awareness about um, an online predator uh, by the name of Nor the Wolf. Now this struck chords with me because um, it wasn't too long ago you seen me making videos about another online predator named Cristali. We worked really hard, it was uh, a lot of us online, um, uh, to spread awareness and through the efforts of all of our voice raising awareness towards that uh he finally did get arrested these were the videos coming through um there you can see him getting arrested there in that thumbnail um but what's happening here strikes a strange resemblance to that event now if you type nor the wolf on instagram you're going to see a lot of names saying ban nor the wolf uh, he also has a Twitter account too of the same name. Nor the Wolf keeps changing the names of his accounts, and I say he because uh, this is a 24, possibly older man who's masquerading as a female, 16 year old female. Some of the conversations uh, he's having with minors is disturbing. Um, I'm raising awareness to tell you guys to stay away from this person. I'm gonna show you a little bit of uh, supporting evidence. I'm not gonna go in all this. There has, uh, there's now reported 10, up to 10 victims um, of this online predatory behavior and it's reminiscent of uh, Cristali. Um, we worked hard to get Cristali off the internet. Um, one of the uh, most bizarre things about this is that Nora the Wolf is targeting former victims of Cristali. As you can see, the victim says, turning 14 soon, to which Nora replies, wow, very young, I am 14 too. Look at the, look at the way this person's talking. Wow, very young. The One of the uh, most dangerous things I've, I've seen here is that within the questions that this adult is asking the children, asking, what is your full name? Do you have passport? What school do you go to? Have you ever, you read right, uh, asking very, questions identifying questions to which uh he would able be able to find this minor this is very dangerous this is predatorial behavior um the worst part about it is the kids reply victim number two 14 years old at the time nora admitted to her that he is in fact a male here you can see the victim saying, I thought you were a girl, where he says, oh, well, no, I'm actually a boy, but do not tell anyone, I trust you, babe. The next day they ask, what is your real name? To which she replies, Nora, but that's a female's name. Yes, I am female. You told me you were a guy. Then Nora says, I'll be right back. Now, this to me is an indication that this person, this predator, cannot keep up with their own lies. And it worries me how many people, how many young children are they talking to? Victim number three here says, Nora messaged him being very sexual. I know a way that can make anyone happy instantly. Do you want me to teach you? Sure. Spread your legs and move towards. Then they proceed to ask the, the sickest questions to which it's clearly making the person uncomfortable one of the most manipulative parts about this is that nora says that they're going to cry they're going to hurt themselves uh to make the person feel bad for them so that they might do what he wants now this was the same kind of stuff that was going on during uh the cristali situation cristali was uh making doing this sort of manipulation making uh the various victims feel bad to where they would send pictures of themselves very very reminiscent of what's here and at one point one creator was spammed nudes from some of the victims that's horrible um 
Another very disturbing detail here with victim number five is that uh, they asked this person to draw R-A-P-E art. This seems to be a fascination with Nora and something that they ask a lot of the... Uh, it's it's pretty disgusting. Um, from what I'm seeing here, it looks like the M.O. is that Nora tries to get with uh, minors that are uh, budding artists and, wants, and tries to get them to draw R.A.P.E. art of other victims that they've talked to in the past um it's the most it's it's what disgusting is an understatement here he says it's not r-a-p-e it's still gross and it's considered bad draw my oc consensually touching her boobs then no still considered inappropriate they say no r-a-p-e make nor grope her yes no it's not r-a-p-e it's still gross and it's considered bad. They keep on asking and pressuring the young artists to do things that they do not want to do. Um, the young artist says, because I genuinely thought you were 16 year old girl and I trusted you, I just thought it would be once. Like this is, this is terrible. Not only are they doing this sort of predatorial behavior, but they have some sick, twisted fascination with uh, R-A-P-E fantasies to which they're um, forcing upon these children to try to get them to draw inappropriate, disgusting things. It's one of the worst things I've ever seen. This is exactly what was going on with the Cristalli situation. Um, and when I was asked if I could please use my platform to raise awareness about this, I knew I had to do this. Um, so I'm going to ask you guys to raise awareness about this. Tell everybody to stay away from Nora the Wolf. Do not go search for this person. Um, I'm told that they are they they're readily, uh, readily uh, attempting doxing and other dangerous online uh, things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a link in the description to where you can report uh, cyber behavior uh, like this. And stay safe out there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the links to all of this in the description below so you guys can see it yourself. Uh, definitely 100% trigger warning on all this stuff. It's terrible. It's it's not for the faint of heart, but if you needed proof to see this for yourself, to see that these things are happening, it's there. If you want to take my word for it, I uh, appreciate it. Um, it's just dangerous, and I just wanted to get this information out there to you guys so we can make a change with this immediately. That being said, and as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me that's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. And as always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. I don't like doing uh, stories like this, but it's uh, mandatory. It's a whole part of the reason why I do this channel. Uh, doing social commentary to promote a change for the better. And there is speculation we there's no evidence there's speculation that this could be cristalli last i heard cristalli was in jail i know that there was talk where he was going to get out on bail um like i said there's no proof that this is him but another concern is that there was a whole group of people that cristalli was working with this might be one of those people and it would explain why they're targeting the victims of Cristalli. It's a very, very, very dangerous situation. I'm going to be sharing this on the Facebook page as well as the Twitter. If you guys see it and you feel like sharing it over there, I really appreciate it. I also do want to uh, thank everybody that has been following the Facebook page. We are trying to get that up to 10,000 this year. Um, I'm very grateful for everybody that's been going over there. And, uh, that being said, I know that you're repping. If you're not repping, you're gagging. Hey, do that. All you gotta do is subscribe for notifications. Turn on, be in the comment section after every single video because I'm gonna be there. Greg the Cat's gonna be there and the rest of the Rep Squad community as well. And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you.
it's just it's terrible it's terrible that people like this exist 